like to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. I've been very happy. I'm that way most of the time. The other day in church, after the rosary, I was telling the lady how I'm no longer in danger of a foreclosure on my home. And the lady, one of the rosary ladies, Donna said, why are you laughing? Why are you joking about everything? The truth of the matter is, I've got in my heart. And it fills me with joy. And I always have a sense of humor. My home was in danger of foreclosure. It always is, but it was a little bit tighter. I had a home modification. It did not make it easier for me. Increased my payments from 2,500 to 3,800, and I was having difficulty making the 2,500s. So I paid the power bills so I could continue with my uh, efforts online. I supplied myself with food. I had my son living with me too. That's an added expense, but I love having him here. And the uh, so I fell, you know, I made three payments of that, then I missed a couple. It doesn't take long if you miss three or four, you're, you owe them 15,000 more. So they were talking to me, letters and that, that hey, your loan is in default. What did I do? I did what I love doing. Paint, write spiritual songs, like the one you hear in the background. Glory be, hallelujah. Well, now I have reason to say glory be and hallelujah. Thank God to a third party involved with mortgages and that. I will not have to make a payment for four months. And they cannot do anything to me in that period of time. So that will afford me time to try to work out another situation. My attitude is, whatever happens is meant to happen. I'm amazingly relaxed about it. Why? Worry doesn't cure anything. And God has taken care of me like you would not believe. I'm 80 years old. I no longer need glasses. I had macular degeneration. I used to wear two and three power glasses to read the hymnals, to paint. They don't need them anymore. I'm not going to demonstrate it for you, but I can read the fine print in these smaller little bottles. Or maybe I will see what my random reading is. That's Mark. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your soul and with all the strength and to love one's neighbor as yourself is more than the whole burnt offerings and actions. This is Jesus talking. How's that for a bit, a good bit of random reading just opening up to Christ's commands of love, which is my mission in life. That to me is just like another little affirmation. I'm particularly fond of John 13, 34. Love your neighbor as I have loved you, Jesus speaking. And I do that. I love everyone. I speak out about any form of discrimination. I suggest that I do not want to see politics in churches. Render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God. Politics are rotten to the core. You bring it into the church, you bring that same crap into it. You have these people who start judging others, looking at them, this and that. Throughout the Bible you'll find Jesus is always constantly saying, don't judge other people. You who are guilty, throw the first stone. We are all guilty, pretty much. God died to save us from our sins. Let's be a little kind.
kinder to God too. And you know you're going to fall, but get up again and try harder. I've been blessed with a fair number of friends and some on Facebook and some I've met in my life. They're very supportive. And they're on the same wavelength. I haven't understand them recently that I'm a conduit of God's love. It was like, gee, I, and I see that in other people, and it's wonderful. You hear all the bad news in that, because there's a lot of good news going on, and you'll find the good news in the New Testament, which I'm strongly into, especially the words that Christ spoke. The painting that you see here is one that I've been working on for a while. I was given a workshop, and the young man, uh, we saw an angel up in here. He said, could I have the angel looking down? So I showed him how to do that. You would not believe in the changes that have occurred in this work of art. The song you hear in the background <clears throat> is one that I've been composing. And I have some more wilder versions of it where it's really kind of shouting to the world, hallelujah, glory be to God, I love it. And this is a little quieter. I turned down the volume too. <laughs> My studio has been special as a place in the past when I was well enough. Not that I'm unwell, but the, um, I had to have problems at 80. I bring a wide range of homeless people into my home and share it with them. I even did an exorcism on a lady who told me she was a daughter of Satan. I had a uh, priest, Eastern Orthodox Rite priest friend, and he said, George, you got to be careful about that. When you kick devils out of someone, they get a bunch of them after you. And I've seen that happen too. But I did it because I felt strong enough to do that. I'm very much into a concept that God is with you. I will talk about one situation where I heard, I am with you. And when I heard that, I went from being, this is back again when my home was in danger of foreclosure, from being this weak old man. I'd be rolling up prints to give the ASPCA and I'd, I'd have to sit down, I'd be dizzy. Do anything, I'd get dizzy. Well, that night I had an experience and I heard God say, I am with you. I wanted my blood pressure to stabilize, so I thought of myself as being back on my boat I had. Only I was in the Caribbean, wing on wing, just ghosting along beautifully on a perfect balance of sails. I wanted to share it and I said, is there anybody down below? Yelling down below deck. I heard a voice by my shoulder. I am with you. And this wonderful calmness came over me. Next day I'm going out with a 14 pound skill saw, two handed skill saw. I'm at the top of a six foot ladder. There's a branch, 25 feet long, blocking the door to my pickup truck that my ex-wife said we should get out of the yard or we'll lose that too. I had to cut it this way, that way, and this way. I worked for four or five hours. I had amazing strength. My kids who are young, from say right now, 24 to 42 or something like that, they can't keep up with me well like that. But beyond that, I feel very happy among the many friends that I felt supportive. I had someone contact me out of my past. I don't know why, but I believe she's on the same wavelength that I am. She brings me a lot of joy just in communicating with her. But she lifts my spirits and helps me to be a better person. And I use that as a guideline. I want to share one other thing with you briefly. I'll take the video camera.
And as it's Valentine's Day, I'm going to focus on a little angel that I made for my granddaughter who's been very ill with Travis. Travis is a terrible situation. She has a 60% chance of living to become an adult. She has seizures and had three code blues last year. The wings go up and down. It's a solar power thing. And it had a heart on it and I made an angel's face on it. Behind that you have an angel too. It was my mother's. And in her arms are a shell. There's a rosary draped on that. I had a vision of, in church of a fountain. I had a lady with cancer who was terminally ill that I was, came over to for an art lesson. She could not come down, she could not sit up at the top. So I brought all the equipment up there. And the bottom of the box was that shell, which is just like the shell in, you'll find in the movie of uh, the insignia. It's also the one behind Our Lady of Guadalupe. And the painting This is what I had a vision of, and I couldn't quite figure out what's supporting the uh, the fountain. I was very much into Christ talking to the Lady of Samaria at the well, and the concept of living water, and trying to figure out why I had so much energy. Now beneath that, it's like people standing under the living water. The living water to me represents baptism too. There's a prayer I wrote. Come into my heart, O Lord, make my heart your home. May your sacred healing blood mingle with my own. With every beat of my heart, may your sacred blood flow, flow through every part of me, healing as it goes. Abide in me, O Lord, may I abide in thee, with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, blessed Trinity. While we stand beneath the living water, having bodies and souls bathed and purified by the Holy Spirit's grace, then with open hearts may we joyfully accept the power and glory of God's perfect healing love. Heal thy brethren, Lord, and be thy holy will. Jesu antique and fio. Jesus, I trust in you. Very much into the heart of divine mercy. The painting you see there has a wonderful breathing exercise, meditation. Where Mary's telling you, hold my son Jesus in your heart and his heart and soul. Abide in him, may he abide in you. Breathe in deeply the breath of the Christ child. Breathe in Jesus, exhale joy, love and peace. Love him too. Glory be. And this is a painting of Mary. She's saying, His cross will bring peace. There's another Mary painting where I had her coming out of the sea. You'll find some of these on my YouTube section or in my homepage, www.blightsforart. My Hispanic Madonna. And as in my Madonna paintings, in the headdress you'll find the symbols of the symbols of children of Abraham. The Star of David, the cross, and the Jewish star. Well, I was working on this, I was working on a song that you hear in the background. And again, it had many, many different skies in it. I don't do them to finish him. I do them to offer it up as a prayer. I'm singing my heart out while I'm doing them. Writing new spirituals, sing a new song to the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Do say a prayer for my granddaughter, please. May she be in care of Jesus' heart of divine mercy. Happy Valentine's Day.